Hey guys, welcome back. I am checking out some demos of PS1 games that never existed. Nah, actually, this is um, a bunch of demos of some really cool PS1 inspired games, horror games, haunted PS1 games. And I think this is all really, really cool. And there's tons, obviously, just, just a crap ton of these demos. I mean, you think you know how, um, like, pixel games became a big trend, right? As, like, an art style. I think it's gonna happen with art styles like this, like PS1 art style. Tasty Ramen, a colorful horror game about a haunted ramen mascot. Let's try it. Alright, I'll come back to ramen. It didn't seem to work quite well. Well enough, anyways. Let's see, what else do we want to try? Insomnia. Interesting. I'll just leave it there. But anyways, I was saying, yeah. Because, you know, pixel art became a new style of art style for games. I think the same thing's going to happen with some of the early, um, like, PS1 style 3D games. It's not meant to be photorealistic, but it's more artistic, I suppose. And I think that's quite interesting. Because some of these games do it very well. Oh, like, look at this. I know it's all blocks, blocksy. <laughs> Bak, hi, I'm boxy. No. Anyways, I know it's a little blocky, but it looks really cool, doesn't it? God, the sensitivity's actually a little bit much. Maybe I should have turned it down. A train. And with the filters, some of the shading, the lights. Some of this looks really cool. Sit down. Okay. Drink there, guy. <laughs> Was that it? <laughs> well, they are dreams. They don't have to make sense. Number two, artistic freedom. Who said that? Now go. But look, this actually looks really nice if you really think about it. So I can't go that way, I have to follow the path. Even though it's very evocative of the old style of games. Back when there was just limitations, now people are turning it into its own style. And I do think that is really cool, it opens up the doors. Because some of these games nowadays are just all the same. They look photorealistic and that's really cool and all. Better technology and the rest of that. But they all look the same. And I think having some different styles, not having like the most photorealistic graphics, but doesn't mean they can't be nice graphics. I think a lot of these games prove that. I also just think it's fun. <laughs> it's just pretty cool, you know. What the hell is this? Huh, wasn't that delightful? <laughs> Number three, Hotel. Red stuff is. Hmm. How mysterious. I do like horror stuff, kind of. It scares me. <laughs> but I always find it really fascinating. I don't know why. What it, what it draws me to horror things. I know I'm gonna get scared. I'm gonna have nightmares. Can I go? I'm gonna squat down. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was very confused. I couldn't figure out how to do this. Let's sneak in to this creepy tunnel. I suppose it's a hotel. Can I go under here? I can't. I thought it was just dark outside. What the hell is that? How spooky. To be fair, these games do a very good job of atmosphere. I think that's essential. 
You don't have to have. Also, I think the fact that these are horror games and PS1 style games shows that you don't really need to have the best graphics to have fear. You know, just gotta be believable, or at least scary. Real question is, where am I going? Ah, Jesus. <laughs> that actually got me. Can I get in there? Can't get in there. And that actually just, that actually that spooked me. Oh, really? Well, that's good to know. <laughs> Yo, it's fucking haunted, all right? Yo, you got a problem, mate? It's fucking haunted in here. Four. Trapped. Hmm. Ooh. It's actually really nice. Guess I'm on the roof. The roof that has lights, for some reason. At least that's what I can make of it. This is really nice. I should say, if you haven't, if you played a PS1, you mean no, they don't actually look like this. <laughs> no offense to PS1 fans, but some of their games, they look pretty garbage. Just a little, just a, just a little. They look pretty garbage texture warping, some of it's just runs bad. I mean, it was the limitation at the time. Nowadays, you can have that same look, but clean, crisp, like this. Even with that vomit texture on the floor, it still looks really nice. What the hell? That's horrifying. <laughs> it's very unpleasant. Five teeth. Jeez, man. I don't exactly want to know what happened last time, but that wasn't very pleasant, was it? To be fair, I, I never owned a PS1 as a kid. I mean, I was a bit older for that generation anyways, but I still played a lot of um, N64. Which I personally think is better, but you know, each his own. Although, actually, I would say that I think the graphics in N64 actually did look better in a lot of instances. I never noticed texture warping in the N64. It might just be my bias as well. Depends on the game, depends on yada yada yada, you know the rest. But I haven't actually played that many horror games, it's fascinating to me. Huh? God. Can we do anything? It is funny, this is about dreams. I never remember my dreams, ever. I was like, one day, let me let me start a dream journal. It's supposed to be good, you can learn how to lucid dream, it's good for your whatever. So I was like, let me, let me, let me do this. I got up, got my bed, really set, put out a little notebook, got a pencil. Real paper, that's right. It's gonna be perfect. <laughs> I wake up, it's like, all right, time to write down. I sat there and I was like, what the fuck? I don't even remember anything that happened. And we just woke up and it's like, Everything in my head just... Ah. Jesus Christ. Oh, God damn. <laughs> but they have a heart attack, man. I wasn't expecting that. Quid significa... I don't speak Latin. Thank you. Jan Malitschek. Dream. Wake up. Huh. Well, that was interesting. I'll put a pause on that for now. Um, next video, I'm going to go over a couple of the other PS1 dreams. Dreams? Dream, not dreams. Uh, games. If you like this, I got more. Um, if you want to watch more, click my other videos. I'll put a link for this game in the description. And uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.